Now, this is a really fast way. There's several ways you can go about it, but I'm just going to give him a, a little egg shape for the eye. And I'm placing it right in there. Okay. Now I'm going to push with a narrower part of that. This works probably a little better because I want to go down in the center of his eye. Now I'm going into the corner, inner corner, and then I'm going to try to rock over a bit to the outer corner of the eye. And what's happening is it makes a lid and a lower lid all in just one movement. But you don't want to flatten the eyeballs, so I'm just gently. Okay, and then this he's opened a little more at the iris here. It's rounder. So I push down a bit here. There's a lot of glare in here, so I'm not getting a lot of shadow. But this is when you really want to start paying attention to the upper lid. So I'm adding a little more. And also looking at the angle of the eyelid, the upper eyelid. It doesn't go straight across. It's going down and wrapping around the eyeball. And I'm always pushing in on the corners because I want the eye to set back inside the socket. And the only way you can do that is by pushing in in the inner corner of the eye. And you do not want to go out beyond the brow. Speeding up, but uh, notice how the lower lid angles up into the corners as well. It's going in this direction into the inner corner, and then it angles up in the outer corner. It just tucks right in. The same thing goes with the mouth, but we don't have we don't have the beard there, so it wouldn't be hard to show you, but. Okay, then I'm going to determine where the iris is. And you want to get it as round as possible. Also, you do not want the iris to be entirely shown. Otherwise, you get this wide-eyed, scared-to-death look. You don't want that <laughs> crazy look. <laughs> so, you can see that it just partially covers this upper lid. Now, another way of, uh, you can actually get color in your eyes. So he has brown eyes, and so I probably would like to pull away some of the uh, pupil and get more shadow in this. To indicate that he has dark eyes. I mean, you can take away the entire iris. There's so many uh, ways of uh, doing this, modeling the eye, but this is just one way. to give him the color. So. Okay. Which would indicate a lighter. So if you're doing a portrait of somebody with pale blue eyes, you don't want dark shadows in it. And then of course you want to check your profile. 
So I want to make sure his upper lid is covering the eye. And I can see here that it isn't. So I'm going to add a little more with a little tiny piece of clay here. So always check your profile, which I'm not really seeing his profile from his angle, but I can see it on this side when I'm working on the opposite side. But when you turn it to the side, you want this, the angle of the upper lid should be higher, lower lid a little lower here. So you want it, this nice angle here from the profile. That's how one way you can do it. <laughs> and around the eye. So. so, 